Formula One has become quite a craze and with Lady Gaga and Metallica performing, it sure has everyone talking about it. To discuss the adrenaline rush that adventure sport leads to, we are now joined in the studios by car rallies Harpreet Baba and Harkaran Singh, both of whom belong to Team Thunderbolt and winners of Raid de Himalaya, four-wheeler extreme category. Also joining us on the phone line from Delhi is KTS Tulsi, Vice Chairman of the Law Commission of India and who is participating in the vintage car section of the Formula One event. Uh, थोड़ा स्टूडियो में बहुत बहुत स्वागत है हरप्रीत मैं थोड़े तो शुरू करना चाहवागी तो एक रैलीस्ट हो रीसेंट जो रेड डे हिमालय हो आई थिंक यूज टू सैकेंड राइट कि महसूस हो रहा है इट्स 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 बी ए वेरी बिग डे फॉर इंडिया जो एफ वन हो रहा है बहुत अच्छा हो रहा है इवन रेस इंडिया क्योंकि फर्स्ट टाइम हो रहा है इवन तो ये इन्ना बहुत पॉपुलैरिटी मिलेगी मोटर स्पोर्ट्स में जिदा कि कई पता नहीं है मोटर स्पोर्ट्स वास्तव के रैली भी है एफ वन रेसिंग भी हो रही है ए इन्ना सारा कुछ सारे लोग जिन्हें भी है जनता उन्होंने सारे पता लगेगा मैं मैं ये दसो कि इंटरनेशनल जो मोटर स्पोर्ट का जरा एक सर्किट है वो उत्ते इंडिया पहली बार आया अज तुम कि देर तो है रैली ड्राइविंग मैं रैलिंग मैं 2000 तो मैं स्टार्ट कर ली सी तो थोड़ा लोग तुसी कभी ये है सोचा सी क्या कि कभी ये भी दिन आएगा कि फॉर्मूला वन इंडिया देवे छोएगा नहीं सोचा नहीं पर ये आ गया बहुत अच्छा हुआ जरा ये आया इंडिया देवे फॉर्मूला इन्ना काफी कुछ ही मतलब पता लगेगा पानू कि हम सारे जिद्दा हैगा कि हम नहीं पता हैगा कि कि कुछ हो रहा हैगा मोर स्पोर्ट्स की है एक एक एग्जांपल दूँ मैं मतलब नू कि अच्छी रैलिंग कर देंगे यहाँ पर किसी ने दास देंगे ऐसी रैलिंग करने चले हैं अच्छा कोई पुछ पुछे अच्छा करी कांग्रेस रैली कर रहे हैं बीजेपी कर रहे हैं हरकरन मैं तुम डिस्कशन जिस लायक यहाँ जाऊँगी थानों की लगता है मतलब कि ये है इंडिया दा एक मोटर स्पोर्ट मैप दे होते आना की सिग्निफाई करता है इंटरनेशनल मोटर स्पोर्ट मैप दे आना सी इट इस वेरी गुड बिकॉज़ इफ यू रियली सी द बेटर ग्लोबल कंट्रीज़ ऑल हैव मोटर स्पोर्ट्स एस अ स्पोर्ट so India is a whole step ahead, ahead as a country, as a, mm -hmm. as a progressively growing country. Motorsports is a very positive thing. Right. Because the good countries in the world, you European or America or England, Germany, the good progressive countries, in all of them, motorsports is necessary. In India, it's very good. F1 the organizers knew how many doubts they had to do with India, they had no idea that it's going to be a successful one or a flop one. Why did they doubt their mind? Why did they show the sports that they showed their mind? No, I think it's because India has suddenly grown. You know, since, I mean, if you go back 10 years, India didn't really fare that good. Now, in the last 10 years, India has grown so much. So, that's why they felt that, Dubai is the most important thing. Now, in the last 10 years, India has grown so much. So that is why they felt that the motorsport should come in India. Now. Right. One point three billion people, they only which is only one participant in India. Do you think that is quite depressing? Hai ga? Well, you know, if you take it positive, at least it's a start. Right. You know, so I think it's good. At least somebody is there. You know. Mm -hmm. And if you really think about it, participant might be there, but there's already one more Formula team called Force India, which Mr. Vijay Malia, the president of the UB Group, he has his own team. Right. So. As a team, we already India has one team there, right? It's only that the drivers are different, which depends on the team. Tomorrow, if Narendra Karthik can, or if there's any other driver performs good, I'm sure they can get into Force India too. Absolutely. Let me uh, bring Mr. KTS Tulsi into this. Uh, Mr. Tulsi, necessary extravaganza or a wasteful exercise? What would you say? It's, um, it's, it's one of those uh, measures for, for coming to the conclusion India has arrived. We are no longer a developing country. Uh, this is the fastest sport on earth. And today I was there at the, at the practice. The speed at which these cars fly is incredible. And the burning rubber, the fire, the accidents. Th this is one of the ultimate circuits that you can imagine on earth. And to bring it to a billion plus people, of this uh, country is uh, is remarkable. There there's, there was incredible infrastructure which has been built, and we were amazed at the world class uh, facility that's created uh, for for the for the sport. 
for the mode of force. But, but Mr. Tulsi, is that a priority for a country like India? I mean, all these fast cars and the burning tires and the, the kind of money which we had spent in, to, uh, in the sport? Everything is a priority. By, by bringing uh, poor above the poverty level is a priority. And so is this. If we, if we are uh, aiming to go to the moon, if that's a priority, then why not this? This is the ultimate technological achievement of human ingenuity. And uh, once it has come to India, we will we will discover as to how much of uh, how much more this the the sporting culture will gain from this. I'll ask you the same question which I asked her. Karan in our studio, is it worth the money that is being spent considering that only one Indian is uh, going to participate? Well, it, it, this is a beginning. If this had not come, even one Indian may not have participated or one Indian participated because his father was on a circuit and they lived abroad. But the question is that once it has come here, it will perhaps produce a dozen more uh, enthusiasts and that's how, that's how a beginning is made. Only on the beginning, on the very first year, the very first time, a Formula One is the ultimate motor sport in the world. And it's come for the first year. Let's wait, give them a time. And it's not that anybody, the public money has not been spent on this project. Right. It's uh, a private uh, business. Uh, it, it, motor sport, uh, Formula One has already, always been big business. And uh, it's that money which is being spent. Right. Uh, stay with us, uh, Mr. Tulsi. I'll come back to you. Harkar, I'll come back to you. We've seen this event and we've spent a lot of money and we've got some benefits from it. But do you think it's actually worthwhile, this kind of, uh, kind of an effort? I think so because, you know, if in, like in business, you want to make money, you've got to spend money. Mm -hmm. So if India wants to make money, they have to spend money too. Right. In the long run, it will be a big benefit, definitely. India, you know, there's so much money coming in. See the amount of cars, the people, the infrastructure. How much money they must be spending to get into the big hotels and here and there and everywhere. So Absolutely. You know? Harpreet, our country is a country. It's a developing country. It's a developing country. Do you think that our priorities have been set in the same way? Rather than this money, do you think that our priorities have been set in the same way? Rather than this money, do you think that our priorities have been set in the same way? Any expensive sport? नहीं ये रेवेच्चता लगाना बंदा भी हैगा ते बाकी क्यों मुझे मोर स्पोर्ट्स में तो उसे गिनते हैं आगे कि वो अब दे ता ठीक है बाकी हो जिधर बिजनेस है कि वो अपनी था है कि या ते मैं तो ये कहना कि मोर स्पोर्ट्स ना ना काफी इसे यूज करें क्योंकि ये नाल ही काफी कुछ अपने इंडिया तरक्की होनी है कि आग Right. Let me bring in uh, Mr. Tulsi again. Uh, Mr. Tulsi, I believe you are participating in the vintage car ride. What kind of experience are you looking forward to? No, we are, I am president of the Heritage Motoring Club and uh, the final parade on the 30th is when the, when all the drivers will ride the vintage cars. So I am leading the parade and um, uh, Sebastian Vettel is going to be riding in my car. It's 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 a great feeling. That track on 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 this track, these old beauties are going to drive. I am driving a 1947 Buick, and um, these drivers who who are uh, who are riding chariots of fire, which which fly at the speed of 350 kilometers. They are happy to sit in our car and they, that's what they want everyone to remem remember the journey. The journey of automobile is a journey of human ingenuity and the industrial revolution. And they want you to remember from where did the story of automobile begin. They ride the, the ultimate cars and yet they want everyone to remember that this is where automobile started. Right, Mrs. Lucy, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Harpreet and Harkaran Thoda Doma, the studio which only both both done. Thank you. That's all we have in this edition of Prime. Till we meet again, good luck and goodbye. <laughs>